This is when things get really tense in the group stage. They know full well a place in the knockout stages is something they can almost touch. Will they be able to make it? It's Barcelona. They take on Inter next on EA TV. Hello, wherever you happen to be. Welcome to Catalonia. Welcome to Barcelona. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfielder Stuart Robson. And we have Champions League group stage action to bring you as Barcelona look to nail down their place in the knockout stages. It's Barcelona up against Inter. Well, Derek, I think Barcelona have been good so far. They seem to have a really nice balance to their team. Play well today and they should qualify for the knockout stages. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays with Oriol Very Romeo. big moment, this. There it is, and just the ideal start. Well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. how to put in a clean tackle oh splendid skill this could be troublesome Messi might be in here and there it is but hang on the flag has gone up and it's not going to count well it was a close call but he is just offside good finish mind you Barella. The ball with Martinez. Gozens. And Inter might be able to cash in here, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And Messi with teammates to play it to. Opportunity it is. Still alive. Must be, and that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Well, the Barca fans can sense a goal coming here. They're certainly creating some good opportunities now. Barcelona have possession again. Real chance. And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! They are the team in charge. Torres just dropping off a bit to get on the ball Araujo a very effective challenge put in Turam Martinez Counter-attacking, very much an option. Chances on. Must finish. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. But I think the defending is poor. How can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him? Mind you, it's still a great team goal. For quite some while, that's a tame finish.
And the substitution will occur now. A nice... Oh, could be! Magnificent defending! Oh, big chance! Can they stop it going in? And second time around, he scores! But the keeper left to wonder what his defenders were doing. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Oh, what an opportunity! Well, whatever way you slice it, a long, long way from the target, Stuart. Well, a lack of technique and composure there, that's a bad miss. And they're making a change. And Barca have it back. Just a quick reminder, we've got Champions League group stage to pass. Martinez. And he's in the clear. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Lewandowski. Now the counter-attack looks on. And in with a real chance. Well, not strictly on the target, but denied by the woodwork. Well, close, there's no doubt about that. But in the end, not quite close enough. Barella. And he's through here. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? Pedri. Could be dangerous. Superb chance. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And in the 1v1, Lewandowski makes no mistake. He never really looked like missing, did he? What a goal that is. Now with De Jong. And the pass deftly cut out. Inside the final 15 minutes. This looks more than decent. Well, that's a fine looking pass. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then from there, the keeper has a little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Gorzins. 
And super tackle, and they've won possession. Lewandowski. Dangerous looking through ball. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. It's looking promising. And effectively parried away by the keeper. Messi looking for the through ball. Lewandowski's managed to get in behind. And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle it. Let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And Lewandowski does the rest. Hits through the back of the ball with such power. It's a great finish. And the final whistle has sounded. The end of the game here. A win for Barcelona. No fans are going to be happy about that. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. They take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. Now the atmosphere has been building up all day long, and we're almost ready for kickoff here at Stamford Bridge. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to as Real Madrid tried to confirm their place in the knockout phase. It is Chelsea taking on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. Just needs to steady himself. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. Nkunku has it. So, glancing at the table, and I must say, when the teams came out of the various pots for the Champions League draw, this was the one that stood out straight away. What a riveting game this promises to be. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. This should be a great game. I'd expect both these teams to go deep into the competition. This is the Champions League at its best. Let's hope we're not disappointed. This looks more than decent. And this time it's in! Fabulous goal! And just look at the celebrations! Well, here we can see just how easily Kroos goes beyond his marker. And the strike from Kroos is devastating. The keeper just couldn't react to the power of the shot. What a goal that is. What can they do from here? Well, disappointing end to the move. Vinicius Junior. Oh, big chance. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves celebrate it well just look at this again the speed of counter-attack is so impressive but really the goalkeeper should never be exposed that easily 
great team goal, but woeful defending. Badi Achil. Ronaldo feeds it. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and I have to say, the finish from Ronaldo is just brilliant. He's such a good technician. It's a wonderful goal. Well, he knows he's... Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Vinicius Junior trying to open up the defence and he scored not once but twice they simply cannot stop him and no wonder he's enjoying himself well let's take another look and I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there just look at his position he made it far too easy for him to score Carvajal and Cristiano Ronaldo waiting oh he saved it well Cross with the corner oh that's not a good clearance Cross Simple for the keeper. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the main thing is they're currently on course to book their place in the knockout stages today. Well, it's job half done so far, Derek. Now Might work out. It could be for Mbappe. Oh, off the post. So near. Apparently. Well, what an extraordinary scoreline. Does this game have more goals in it? And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. In position. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing. There for all to see. Well, here's the replay. And it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. And Ronaldo wasn't going to miss this one. From that range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're both well, on they go again. And Real very much in control. Benoit Badiashil. It's with Hakim Ziyech. Chilwell. Andrej. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A masterclass in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, they made this look so easy, didn't they? But as you can see, the defending is really poor. Where were they? Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. Goal for Real Madrid. Number seven, Kylian Mbappe.
Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. This is a message for all away supporters. Fernandez. Can you please remain seated after the game and your coach will meet you. Oh, good looking run. Thank you. A smart stop here. Cristiano Ronaldo. Now counter-attacking possibilities. And in with a real chance. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. Mbappe with it and threaded through by Mbappe and Modric could wreak havoc and there is the goal he's found the net joy unconfined well just look how exposed the keeper is he's got absolutely no chance there but they do take it well you have to say Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Well, not away properly. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here. And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round. It comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned. It's live on EA TV. The floodlights are shining down on the players here at the home of Manchester City. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And a chance tonight for Manchester City to rubber stamp their presence in the Champions League knockout stages. It is Manchester City facing FC Copenhagen. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a good game today because City have been excellent so far. Another top-class performance here, and they will qualify for the knockout stages. And no problems at all for the keeper. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. Oh, Derek, big moment here. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end but you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off. And that's exactly what he did. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Diesch. Stones. Perfect tackle. El Yunusi. Oh, magnificent reaction. Bernardo Silva sliding it through. And he's in. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, 
And this match is level again. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And this is Haaland at his very best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. Damage done by that concession. Ake. Ronaldo Silva waiting in the middle. Decides to shoot. And the goal! An end-to-end -end game. And they weren't behind for long. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Cutting the ball back. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Rodri trying to open them up. And Bernardo Silva in a productive position potentially. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish though. Rodri leading it through and the cross has promise and a goal to delight the fans just what they were hoping for well here's the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it but the finish is so easy he's given far too much time and space he doesn't even have to jump poor defending you have to say and support available in position well he had a lot of ground to cover splendid save corner to City as they look for more oh he's lost possession who can he pick out and now the goal the City fans wanted to see it's hard to see them throwing this away Well, here we can see just how good the cross from Son was. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Champions League group stage action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Manchester City versus Paris Saint-Germain. I like the look of that game. The atmosphere... Oh, Stewart, an opportunity! And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, it's a decent goal, but the defenders certainly played their part. Where were they? They were absolutely all over the place. Ake, now Son, Rodri, and return to Son, it's there for him, and he scored not once but twice, they simply cannot stop him, and no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well here you can see what a good goal this is, he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance, that's a great strike. Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this game.
Rodri. De Bruyne with options. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. Ake. Back to Holland. He's got to have a go here. Making sure it didn't get past him. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Just watch this again. Bernardo Silva's pass is inch perfect. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. Now we're inside the final. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, not the best clearance. De Bruyne. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. Play and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then what a finish by Haaland. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a brilliant goal. Now breaking at pace, potential danger. Opportunity it is. And a goal! Just what they were hoping for. It's there for him. Nicely blocked. And the alarm bells are ringing. Surely now. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. Goal gives them a bigger cushion, and Pep looks really chuffed. At and so that is going to be that. The final whistle here, and they're in a pretty comfortable position, because not only have they booked a place in the knockout stages, it's still very much on for them to finish top of the group, Stuart. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Derek. It's job half done at the moment. They'll still want to take that top spot, though. It could make all the difference going into the next round.